Welcome to the Floral POS. In this how-to video, we're going to show you how to use our new delivery zones by distance. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on Control Panel, click on System Configuration, click on Delivery Setup. You'll see a tab here now that says Zones by Distance. And now you have the capability to add a zone name and then your distance and miles uh, between you know, zero and five miles and add a delivery charge. So if you look at what we added here in front of us, I've added a less than five zone. So it's between zero miles and five miles, that's $7. And then between five and 20 miles, $15. Between 20 and 40 miles, uh, $20. And then between 40 and 100 miles, which I don't know if we deliver that far out anyways, but $30. So because we have so many extra things here, we have zones by zip code, zones by distance, we have our delivery services. How does this all play with each other? So I added a new tab over here called Charge Diagram, and it kind of explains what we have going on. So um, customer specific delivery charge. So I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but every customer, you can go in their settings and you can give them a specific delivery charge. If you do that, it overrides everything. So that's like the, the top of the, the chain. And then um, if you don't have that, then shop frequent location. So each location you have that you deliver to quite a bit, like funeral homes, hospitals, etc. cetera, um, if you have them set up, they override everything else too. So that that's, if once you select the shop frequent location, it doesn't look at anything else. And then after that, if those two things aren't set up, then we look at zones by distance first. So it'll look and see if the, you know, however, however many miles your delivery is from your shop. And if, um, if it's not in your list of zones by di distance in your settings, it'll actually jump over to zones by zip code. And if it doesn't find any um, zip codes in there um, to grab a delivery charge, it'll look at your delivery services and it'll grab at default delivery charge. So it goes zones by distance, then zones by zip code, and then lastly, your delivery services. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's start delivery order. Throw some things in the cart. <clears throat> let's select Timothy Bell. And let's go ahead and grab somebody from his um, customer recipients. So let's grab James Croft. Drop him in. It says recipient is 4.5 miles from your shop. And if you look down below, delivery charge is now $7. It's pulling from our zones by distance less than five. Kind of a neat thing. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Let's grab uh, John Doe, who lives in Gasport. And that recipient is 14.7 miles from the shop, and that's actually a $15 delivery charge between five and 20 miles. Kind of a neat little thing. So let's actually clear that out. Let's close this order. Let's go back into our customer, Timothy, and let's grab Let's grab a, let's see here, let's grab the customer specific delivery charge here and save it. Let's just show you the override. So now if I go into here and select Timothy Bell, it automatically has from customer $10. That's his uh, customer specific delivery charge. So if I was to go in here and select James Croft again, it does not change anything here. If I select a frequent location, it doesn't change anything at all. So that's just kind of showing you the override. And that's zones by distance inside the Floral POS. If you guys have any questions, give us a call at 888-865-9768, or you can always use your smiley face up in the upper right hand side to send feedback. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one.